All right, y'all, so I'm going to do a real quick twin flame ascension read. I am at the hospital with my son. All right, so um, y'all already know what to do. Every twin is on a different stage of their journey. Take what you need, leave what you don't need. Use the spirit of discernment. If you're triggered by anything, face your mirror. Okay, not my call. I'm going to jump right on in, y'all. Um, I like to do these messages because the twin flame journey literally is about your spiritual awakening. And you've ascending on your journey. Okay, so let's just see where you're at. Um, especially see what the energy is like for the 11-11 portal. Um, I'm going to dive right on in, okay? Because I'm going to try to make this quick before the nurse comes in and um, takes my son's blood pressure for the night. So uh, tell me what the message is. Thank you, my true team, true guys, for showing up. What's the message here for my twins in this 11-11 portal? Sacred sexuality comes out, right? <laughs> of course. There's a lot of sexual energy here taking place between the twins. But this is about accessing um, this unified field between you two. So whatever, that could be like unhealthy soul ties. It could be sexual trauma and things like that that can interfere literally with your connection. So it's some things that need to be released because that connection between you and your person is very sacred okay and it's healing all right so um let me see what else comes through i'm definitely talking to my twins who are actually in communication or in intimate relationships with their counterparts all right so remember your or who you are having these sexual encounters with if they're not your divine counterpart, okay? Or if you had sexual trauma from the past, please heal from that, okay? Divine order, practice patience. So divine order is kicking in early, okay? So practice patience. When we got divine order, something needs to be worked out or worked through, all right? That's the only time divine timing kicks in. And what I'm hearing is also trust the process. Everything you may not need to know, but trust the process. Hmm. It says patience is the ultimate virtue. You are experiencing many challenges that teach you tolerance, trust, and timing, all requiring you to practice patience, a major life lesson that you must master for your soul to evolve. This card suggests that you release control and allow divine guidance to direct you which demonstrates that you trust the process. That came off of my Virgo reading. So if you're Virgo, check that out. I ain't uploaded it yet, but I will be soon. And basically, that's what it is. It's like Spirit is pushing us into moving into a state of trusting. Trusting the process. It's like, we got to be able to go into the unknown. You may feel like you're in the darkness right now. You don't know what's happening. But however, Spirit is saying, take the leap of faith and keep moving forward and just trust. All right, 313 on the timer. Um, it also says here, practicing patience will enhance your ability to, co to connect with your senses and teach you to let go of the idea that you are the only one who can achieve what you perceive as a perfect or right way. The card implies that you need to get out of your own way by releasing logical concepts and surrender control creating space for you to receive blessings that will far exceed the expectations of your mind. Rushing the process will cause you to make hasty decisions. This diminishes your ability to create at your highest capacity. Make a commitment to exercise self-control, which will enhance your ability to live more consciously in the present moment so you can attract your greatest potential. Okay? So right now, boom, it's divine order. Practicing patience. All right, this portal is going to help us to be patient. <laughs> it's going to help us to trust in divine timing, okay? Boo, right? But it's all good, right? Because we need it. <laughs> we need it. A lot of us are definitely, like, at wits and, like, I don't know what's happening. I'm about to be like, F this. I'm going on about my business. But... It's almost like a sense of peace or calm, though. It's almost like one of these feelings, like, I don't know what's going on, but at this point, I ain't even really worried about it. Like, I don't have time to put my energy into it, right? Multiple, multi-dimensional healing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going through this process where we're healing on a deeper level. It's like 
multi-dimensional okay healing is like you're going through dimensions of these on um, this healing process and right now it's like i said divine timing kicks in because there's some things that we need to heal from we still are a work in freaking progress okay this is why the twin flames haven't haven't fully unified right because there's still separation within self okay so once we you know in that internal separation and we become whole right then guess what the counterparts can come together and do the work that they are called to do okay now let me see i'm gonna pull another card because this thing like that was just pretty straightforward right like look <laughs> get y'all shit together <laughs> so that y'all can finish out this light work again and stop playing with us basically now let's see tell me more information that you want my twin flames to know feel loved and comforted this is the empress okay so let's see mother earth you are the creator babes okay so let's see mm -mm. mother earth allow yourself to be cherished mother earth is protecting you with a shield of love and light all right so you may have felt overwhelmed or out of control emotionally recently, but you are now moving back to your natural center, and that will bring you to a place of clarity and openness. If you have felt ungrounded, know that Mother Earth is here to root you and help you regain your sense of strength. You may not feel like a child, but in the eyes of, of the divine, you are a child of light, and it's important you know that and you feel loved. If you have had challenges with your mother or with being a mother yourself, Know that the energies of mother healing are with you to help clear any ancestral blockages that are preventing you from making a sacred love connection. You are being guided to make choices that are based on love. Okay. A lot of us are being brought back to the beginning. That's how I'm seeing it. Even like with myself. My son started here at John Hopkins at three with the brain tumor. He's 22 now, so he's had some other health issues in between, but... We're back at JHU, and we're have to, we're in patients right now, and it's bringing the family back together. Right, me and my son being able to build a bond, okay, and we're being able to connect to each other, and even helping me when it comes to my own mothering abilities, okay, because I know sometimes, you know, I can be a little detached emotionally, so it's definitely helping me. And it's helping him and his dad to build a bond with each other. So I'm seeing the significance of everything that's happening. So it's like divine time is kicking in, right? Everything is divinely ordered. And the way that it's happening is it's going down, again, multidimensional. So it's going into other stuff that's deeper than you and your divine counterpart. It's going into mending and healing from past relationships with your children, with a parent, a parental figure, you know what I'm saying, with a mother, just like it said, right, it's so much that has to be sifted through, and released, and healed, this is like you building your book of life, okay, because again, like I said, it's like when we go into, and we're already operating in our healing practices, but as we continue to ascend and we continue to reach and help more and more people, we got to have our stuff cleared, okay? Because it requires our wholeness and our full and complete utter trust in the divine and our higher selves to do this type of job, y'all. So whatever that is happening in this moment, trust the process, trust the unknown. Release whatever the emotion is that you have, the negative ones, okay? And allow this to flow. Go with it. Ride the waves. It's a lot that's happening for everybody. We're experiencing life, but at the same time, we're learning, we're evolving, and we are going to be blessed. So keep your vibes high. All right, y'all? So I love y'all. I'll have a child tomorrow.